Hi, John Ason, Director of Instruction down here at 3D Golf Performance. And I want to talk to you today about your right arm in the golf swing and how important it is to use your right arm as a trigger to activate speed during the downswing. Now there's lots of angles that we create during the backswing. But one of them is your right arm. And the right arm fills with tension during the backswing. This is simply because as we move into our backswing, your right arm is going to cock and maintain pressure that's outward and upward. As it's cocking during the completion of your backswing, that tension fills and actually wants to start springing back, almost like you're going to create the karate chop. So this is what we call this move from up here, is that when you feel the tension building and finishing the peak of your backswing, your right arm creates this tension-filled position where it wants to start back down right away. And that's a key point in a transition to your downswing because this eliminates any opportunity for the golfer to go over the top. So let's just run through the process of the right arm's roll. So during the back swing, this first move is horizontal, and really the right arm is caused to have been bent by the bent right wrist during the, the right hip pullback. So as my right hip pulls back, my right wrist bends, the momentum of the club rotates, and now my right elbow is cocking, and the rest of the motion is vertical. When I arrive at the top, you can see that my right forearm is pretty much vertical and my upper arm is horizontal. At this point, I've got tremendous pressure that's outward against my left arm as to keep to my extensor action in my left arm. So my left arm is again to be caused to have been extended by the pressure point number two, or the palm of your right hand. So once again, from face on, my horizontal movement is early, my right hip pull back begins the swing, I get my bent right wrist, the cocking of my right elbow now as it works upward, it will take the left shoulder and cock it around my spine a good 90 degrees from where it began. Okay, so great drill. Really feeling the pressure on number two as you go up. And one of the keys that a lot of people that come through our academy will find is that their right arm is actually the one that's, that's collapsing and narrowing towards the body. We want to make sure that the right arm almost feels like it's extended and feels pressure that's outward. And that'll cock the right arm beautifully and put it in a position where it really just wants to go down. So this, this motion here is why we refer to it as the karate chop action. So basically it looks like this. One to two, again, you got your right hip pull back, get into your horizontal position here, and then all the way up is vertical motion, your right arm is pushing that way, and then it's one, two, three, and you can really feel the downward motion. This will solve a lot of the over-the-top issues that most of you deal with. Keep the swing on that plane that you need it to be on to get from the inside out hit that ball. Let me hit one for you and see if I can do this. So when the movement of the right arm is cocked properly back here, all you have to do is a, a sense of a karate chop motion down. The whole point of the angle is at some point you have to get that angle back to straight and the right arm will be in that condition at about post impact here. So try this little drill. Keep focused on what you're doing in your backswing. Remember, enjoy that hit.